He has incited his followers to violence. He has boasted of his own repeated sexual violence. And uh, he has threatened violence in the future. He has endorsed violence in public speeches that can lay the groundwork for a culture of violence and give rise to epidemics of violence. If you have somebody who uh, tends towards what we call malignant narcissism and excessive grandiosity and, and such, when he's put in an office where you are the most powerful man in the world, those character traits, rather than being adaptive, uh, get exacerbated. And uh, that the power of the presidency itself uh, can actually aggravate uh, his tendency to uh, grandiosity. He has no responsibility to what most of us consider to be reality. I call this solipsistic reality, that is, his reality alone, the sense of what his self perceives and needs becomes his entire reality. I would focus on his um, inability to cope calmly with crisis, but rather to respond to any questioning of his views with a kind of attack mode uh, and a potential for violence. And that attack mode, potential for violence, is under the category of dangerousness.